Well, number three then from the 2015 Advanced Tire Maths. Five marks, arithmetic sequence. Well, it's talking about the sum of the terms. We've got an arithmetic series here. The sum of the first 20 terms, 320. The 21st term is 37. So what's the sum of the first 10 terms? Again, for five marks. Well, it all depends which formula you use for the sum of the terms. You can either use the sum of the terms as n upon 2 times the 2a plus n minus 1d. Where a stands for the first term and d stands for the common difference. Or you could use that sort of original form that this came from, which is n upon 2 times a plus l, the first plus the last term. Because all of the terms in an arithmetic series would average out to the same as the average of the first and the last, a plus l over 2. And if there was n of them, then they would total to n of those average. So it's actually two roots. Because notice you can use this one because you've got a last term here. But you'd probably think of this one first and think, well, I've got two things to find and I've got two pieces of information, so I'll be simultaneous equations. So what if I got if I feed this information into here? And of course the other thing here would be any particular term is just a plus one less law of the common difference. So for this one, this comes to 320 when n is 20. So you've got 20 upon 2 is 10 times 2a plus, and if n is 20, that'll be 19d should equal 320. Take that across and divide, and you've got 2a plus 19d equals 32. There's one equation. And the other equation you can use is this one here, a plus n minus 1d for this term. So using this one here, I've got a plus, and if that's the 21st term this time, that'll be 20d will equal 37. There's the second equation. Then doubling this and taking away the first one, you would have 2a take away 2a is 0, 40 take away 19 is 21d, and 74 take away 32 is 42, so d is 2. I forgot the marks. The marks just came for establishing these two equations using these two formulae. So there was one mark for substituting the figures into the sum formula, there was one mark for substituting the figures into the term formula, and there's one mark for obtaining the first of these. And then to find a, I'll pop that back in, substitute d equals 2 in number 2. So that means that will read a plus 40 equals 37. Well, that makes it a wee negative then, doesn't it? That means take that 40 away. a is negative 3. That's the fourth mark. And then finally, finish it off. So what is the sum of the first 10 terms? Just using this formula again. It'll be 10 upon 2, which is 5 times 2 times a, maybe I'll just put this in, plus 9 lots of d, which is 2. So that's 18 minus 6, which is 12, times 5 is 60. Where will I put that? Equals 60 for the fifth mark. Now that other way, I mean that's your five marks, you've got it. But if you're going for this other route by thinking, oh wait, if that's the last term, then I've got a new total. Then you could say over here, I'll just put the information up here, that means the sum of the first 21 terms must be 320 plus the 37. So the sum of the first 21 terms should be 357. Now when I pop this in, I know the sum, I know the number of terms, I know the last term, so I can find A directly with having to use simultaneous equations. So popping that into here we've got, because that's now S21, it's a bit awkward with the 21 I know, so that says we've got 21 upon 2 times A, which I don't know, but the last term is 37, and the total all of them should have been 357. Now, doing it that way, this gets a mark. But now I've got to tidy that up. So a plus 37 would be, because the numbers get a bit bigger doing it this way, because that's now what, 714 over 21. Well, they both divide by 7. That's 102 over 3. And then that divides by 3 to give me 34. So from that, you get a equals, take 37 away, negative 3 as before. That gets a mark. Now the next mark would be for making this statement here about the 21st term. 
So that's there already, if you like, over here. So substituting that would be negative 3 plus 20d is 37. So 20d would be, taking that across and add, would be 40. So d is 2. And then popping it back in, of course, gives you the answer for your S10. Same as before, it'll be that 5 times. I don't know why I'm even writing this down again, but it's quite clearly there. 9 times 2, which gives you 60 as before. Now, there is another way it could have been done, and that is to use the sum of the first 20 terms and the sum of the first 21 terms as the pair of simultaneous equations. It might seem a bit longer to begin with, but it's not actually in this case because they're only one apart. So that you would say, if that's the sum of the first 20 and that's the following term, then the sum of the first 21 terms must be 357, as you did when you did the A plus L. And then write those formulae out. So this one would say that 20 upon 2 times 2a plus 19d should be 320. And this one would say 21, that's n, upon 2 times 2a plus 1 less is 20d is 357. Tidy that up a bit because that's just 10. So that says 2a plus 19d is 32. And this one says 2a plus 20d is, we had that before, was 34. I'm not going to simplify that because it's quite handy the way it is. So there's your two simultaneous equations. And the only difference between them is that's got an extra d. So d is 2. If you do 2, take away 1, you immediately get d equals 2. And then putting d equals 2 in 1 gives you 2a plus 38 equals 32. So that must be a negative 6, so a is a negative 3. And then finally, S10 must be 10 upon 2 times, just the same as before, 2 times the negative 3 plus 9 times the 2, which comes to 60. So there you go.